All right, gang, this morning's editorial is going to make you mad. Although right now they're just allegations, but they're allegations of another Chester. Another Chester on the police force. What am I talking about? Thank you, Fox 59, for this story. Out of Edinburgh, Indiana, an Edinburgh police officer is facing charges after allegedly molesting a child. Court documents show Michael David Nunez, 33, faces two counts of child molesting. The investigation began on December 29, 2020, after Edinburgh Police Chief Doyne Little received a call from an Edinburgh police officer. That officer told him he'd been contacted about sexual abuse by the mother of the victim. Investigators spoke with the victim and the victim's mother, collected available evidence, and reported what they found to the prosecutor's office. According to court documents filed in the case, the victim told police they had been sexually abused by Nunez for the past several years. The victim was reportedly six years old when the alleged abuse began. The victim reported Nunez mentioned that he could go to jail if the victim told anybody. When detectives tried to speak with Nunez, he was working another job as a security guard. While working the security job, he was wearing an Edinburgh Police Department uniform but driving his personal vehicle. On December 30th, 2020, Nunez was located near River Road and Triangle Road in Camp Atterbury, sitting in his vehicle. Due to his actions and comments to officers, he was immediately taken to a nearby hospital under a detention order. The Johnson County Prosecutor's Office filed charges against Nunez for two counts of child molesting, a level one felony. The charge can be a level three felony, but since Nunez is more than 21 years old, the charge was enhanced to a level one. Nunez was arrested on January 5th, immediately after being released from the hospital. Sheriff Dwayne Burgess said, quote, The sheriff's office remains committed to protecting the citizens of Johnson County and impartially enforcing all laws, regardless of the individuals involved. Law enforcement officers should be held to a higher standard, and any allegations against them will always be fully investigated and handled the same as any other case. Mm-hmm. Nunez faces a possible penalty of 20 to 50 years in jail per charge. Since the counts can run consecutive to each other, Nunez faces up to 100 years. More charges are possible if the ongoing investigation reveals new information. A special prosecutor will not be sought in this case because the alleged crimes occurred outside of Nunez's capacity as an Edinburgh police officer. Nunez's bond was set at $160,000 cash only. He has been suspended without pay since December 29th. And so again, you know, I've said it before where people say, hey, look, um, these sexual abuse cases, especially these molestation cases, they could happen with any person in any career, any walk of life. But the problem is when you have a police officer that's not only alleged to have done this, but was arrested immediately, suspended without pay. Because, you know, if if um, it was even a little bit questionable, the allegations, he would be suspended with pay pending the outcome of investigation. This guy has been suspended without pay like they they really think this is this guy did this. Um so the problem with that is now you have a police officer, somebody that children are supposed to trust, somebody that children are supposed to look up to as a mentor, and he's, you know, come here, little girl, you know, with candy in his pocket. I mean, it just it just makes you wonder how these these guys get into law enforcement and then fly under the radar like that. Um, same thing with cops that get in there and do multiple DUIs, you know, cops that get in there and sell drugs. How are you selling drugs with a badge on your chest? I, I, they're flying under the radar. So I don't know. It just makes you question. And, and if law enforcement thinks that we don't trust law enforcement officers, this is one of the reasons that it's difficult to trust cops because, you know, same thing with school teachers. It's difficult to trust school teachers because what if I send my kid to school and he's being molested by the school teacher? I mean, it happened. Los Angeles County had how many cases a couple years ago? Just in one year. Like, there were several in one year in just L.A. County. 
with the L.A. Unified School District. Um, Catholic priests, same thing. And I'm not saying all Catholic priests are bad. I'm not saying all school teachers are bad. I'm not saying all law enforcement officers are bad. But the thing is, when you get these cases like this and you get it over and over and over again in the same occupation, school teachers, Catholic priesthood, law enforcement, sexual molestations happening over and over and over again in that specific occupation, it diminishes the trust that we can have with those occup uh, those um, certain employees or people of that occupation with our children. We're like, no, 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 my kid ain't going to no Catholic school. Are you kidding? You think I want him to get molested? And he probably never will. But that's the image that's being portrayed through those, specifically those three occupations because of this stuff right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch. Watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers to include Chesters from Indiana and from coast to coast.